Hi everyone, this is Caitlin, the Love Librarian, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, just click that subscribe button so you don't miss future content, and welcome. Today, we're going to be doing a quick and steamy novella recommendations video. And sometimes, so like I, my preference is like full size, like full length books. Uh, everybody's preference is full size, if you know what I'm saying. But my preference is full size books. But sometimes I get in a mood where I just don't even have the energy to engage with a book that is over two, 300 pages. And I like to have novellas at the ready on my Kindle to read. And so the first recommendation I have for you is Just For A Little While by Fiona Cole. And I actually read this on my... um like Kindle first on Kindle Unlimited but then I saw Fiona Cole at a signing and I love this novella so much I wanted to um purchase it and she signed it for me so that's pretty cool. So this one is about Willem and Arabella it's age gap kind of like forbidden taboo because Arabella I think is about to start college like she's been traveling abroad or whatever and her parents are kind of like okay it's time for you to go to school and whatever school she's going to her dad's former stepbrother teaches there like he's grown 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 but that was like when they were growing up I guess that was like his stepbrother for some period of time and so all the dorms and apartments and stuff are full so they offer to let her um he opens his home to her and it's basically like kind of insta lovey attraction as soon as they first meet um, and then I think there's a, there's slight teacher student in here cause she signs up for a class that I think he teaches, but I don't think she stays in it for long. Um, but there's a lot of push and pull like towards the end because obviously he feels like he too, he's too old for her and he doesn't know how her parents will react, but it will steam me if you've read Fiona Cole, you know, she knows how to write steam and it is not that long. And I think all of my recommendations are going to be under 200 pages, probably under 150 cause this one is 102. So highly recommend this one. My next recommendation is Truth or Dare by Danielle Allen. Now this is not the original cover. This is the cover that Hello Lovely did. The original cover has the guy on it. So the main characters are Kingston and Simone. And Kingston and Simone are like longtime best friends. I think there's like a group of them. It says nine of my best friends. Yeah. So they all kind of went to like college together. And like years go by and two of the friends in the friend group are getting married and it's a destination wedding. And I think, were they on like a boat or was it a resort? I can't remember. I think it was a, a resort type setup, but, 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 but. So these two never really like had an attraction to each other, never dated or anything. Cause they always said like, if you date within the friend group, make sure it's like long term. So they um, play a game of truth or dare um, during the like hangout with the friends and somebody dares Kingston and Simone to kiss and it was a kiss. Okay, it was a kiss. And that kiss basically, like they start looking at each other a little differently. And it's one of those things where it's like what happens in paradise stays in paradise and they quickly realize that maybe there's more to it than just like the physical aspect because they have been friends for like over 10 years they stayed in contact when they moved to their respective jobs and cities like it's, it's not one of those like insta love insta love things where they don't know anything about each other so it kind of has like that it's it's friends to lovers um but make it spicy <laughs> so highly recommend this one it was written very well my only complaint i wish there had been more like i oh this is one of those you know a novella is good when you wish the author wrote a full-length novel like i was like i i need more on Kingston and Simone so highly recommend this one. My next recommendation is Go Deep by Rosie Adams and Xander and Nevea are the main characters here and they've been best friends since they were in the womb. I think their moms um I don't know if they were neighbors or like best friends but they came out the womb being best friends and they've been best friends. I think they're both in their their, their late 20s now late 20s early 30s and they live in the same city and Nevaeh is a like an erotic fiction romance author and she went through a bad breakup with her ex where he like cheated on her or something so as a result I guess she kind of lost her mojo and her most recent book was a flop so she feels like she kind of needs to you know Stella needs to get her groove back <laughs> and 
she I think with the help of a friend like giving her ideas she's like I kind of just need to bang one out with somebody and she talks Xander into being that person that she does that with and at first Xander is like and eh, no because we've been best friends like our whole lives it might change things um but of course it's gonna change things that's how the story goes so they end up sleeping together so it's like friends with benefits but it quickly turns into more and basically they start to form the connection that everybody has already seen because the problem is that like um Xander none of his relationships last because they're all threatened by Nevaeh and like he tries to say oh she's just my friend but they're like no and they would be correct because he does have these feelings for her and it kind of took them towing over that physical line to understand that oh this could work like this could work we could be together and it was very sweet it was a nice happily ever after I think there's like a second smaller novella um with like an extended HEA. I haven't read it yet, but this one I highly recommend. I, I definitely love it. I love their friendship and I loved when they took things to that next level. My next recommendation is Handsome Devil by Sarah Kate. And this one is about Henry and Layla. And this is like a road trip romance because Layla's best friend is decides to get married in Vegas. And I, I can't remember where they're driving from, but the point is Layla can't drive there because I think it's like, a storm and her car is not going to make it so she can't fly she can't drive and her best friend is like okay just carpool with my dad his car can handle it he'll take you and like Layla's not a huge fan of her best friend's dad just because you know she passes judgment on how you know he kind of was wasn't always in the best friend's life for a good reason um but so their road trip starts off a little rocky um, and then Layla has this like douchebag boyfriend she tries to surprise and he turned out to be like a two bit nothing. And so her kind of feeling down about herself and cause she's a virgin. So it's a, it's a virgin romance and Henry kind of being like Henry, the like hero is kind of a stick in the mud and he's kind of very straight and narrow. Like he's a doctor. He doesn't have time for relationships outside of one night stands or so he keeps telling himself I think he just doesn't want to open himself up to like love and those deeper vulnerabilities but that quickly changes when they spend enough time on the road because Layla's kind of like well um you can just I kind of want to have sex with somebody who is um gonna make it good my first time and he's just like what and um but I, I really enjoyed this one because it was Stevie. It was actually kind of funny too. Like I don't think it's a rom-com, but it was hilarious with their road trip shenanigans. And um, their relationship formed organically, I think. Like the, the lead up to them actually being physical together was organic. It didn't just feel like it came out of nowhere. And I would highly recommend this one to anybody who loves Sarah Kate. If you've read Praise or Eyes on Me or Give Me More, then you love Sarah Kate's writing. Then this one I think is a little older, but still a goodie. My next recommendation is is Thin Ice by Cassie Mint. Thin Ice is an ice skating romance between Mila and her coach, Coach McKay. I think his name was like Logan. But it's literally, there There was not like much to this. <laughs> like literally she is um, like training for competition with her, her guy partner. And the coach hates the fact that he can't touch her, but like her partner can. And like, she's been eyeing him. He's been eyeing her. Um, because I think he's been their coach for, was it a year? I can't remember, but he'd been their coach for a while. And, um, one thing leads to another and they, um, open up about their feelings for each other. And that's literally all it was to it. I gave it five stars because for a novella, it held my attention and normally novellas don't. So this, uh, well, all of these obviously hold my attention, but this one in particular, I just really enjoyed. And I think Cassie Mint only writes novellas. So if you like Thin Ice, I would definitely say check out Cassie Mint because she has like a whole slew of novellas. Like there's the, this, this series, I think it's like the Thin series. Then she has like, um, the big series because I've read another one in that group I think it was like Big Boss or something like that but highly recommend her um if you just kind of want a little mindless smut with like a, a dropping of plot that just works. My next recommendation is Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett. Now this is a new novella that I've been talking about on my bookstagram um because I really loved it and it kind of gave me a nice intro that I actually enjoyed back into Monster Romance. Um and this one is between Atlas and Tegan and Atlas is a like a wolven which is like a wolf guy and Tegan is a human. And 
their town, I guess, has recently started like seeing more of an integration between like the human and monster pairings. And so Tegan is a baker and she drops a cake outside the bakery where Atlas works. Atlas um, actually like owns the gym that is across from the bakery. And he goes to help her and like his body just loves everything about Tegan and Tegan loving everything about this wolf man. And um, she decides to go to the gym because she was looking for a gym membership anyways. And she looks up Atlas and she realizes he owns a gym. And so she's like, okay, I'll go join there. And one thing leads to another. And this one had like faded mates vibes because I think part of like Atlas's like wolfy senses recognize Tegan as his mate. And there's something about Atlas that Tegan can't resist. And I just, for being a novella, I think this one was a hundred something pages. For being a novella, the author did an awesome job at just developing their relationship and kind of also giving us like yes he's a monster so he's already different but also he was not like this alpha gruff dude like he had his alpha moments because he's a, a wolf and he has those tendencies but he was also very vulnerable because he just got in, gotten out of like a really bad relationship that kind of did a number on him and affected how he you know hoped to just be loved for who he is. So it was a not a lot going on, but enough that I think it worked. And I, she's making this a series, um, I guess, with some other people that we met in the gym. She's going to make it a series. So please check this one out. Even if you don't think you like monster romance, this is a great fluffy one. I really enjoyed it. It's something I would reread, which I rarely do reread. So, <laughs> so I highly recommend this one. Next, we have First Semester by QB Tyler. This one was so good. Um, it it, it, it was funny. It reminded me of like just like a drama. I don't even know why because the uh, main character is Aiden and Skylar and both Aiden and Skylar have just gotten out of like these relationships that were really bad. I think I don't know if they were like both cheated on or something but they like Skylar is starting college and the weekend before her room, not roommate, but like somebody who lives in the apartment next to hers, like download this app, we can find you a rebound. And the app is like a bootleg tender. And so she meets up at the bar with this guy. Um, They talk on the app a little bit and her and the best friend go to this bar. And they basically have a one night stand and they kind of want to see each other again. And it turns out that she, so she's a criminal justice major. And it turns out that when she goes to her first day of class, he ends up, I guess there was a switcheroo with the professors. And turns out he is the professor of like one of her freshman criminal justice classes. Because not only did she lie about her name, she lied about her age. And she made it sound like she was a grad student, not an undergrad student. So needless to say, he's pissy, but he can't stay away from her. He can't keep his hands off her and she can't keep her hands off of him. So literally it was just like drama field smut. It was good. <laughs> I gave it four stars. Um, I, I just, QB Tyler knows how to write some smut. I will give her that. And I think um, there are more in the series. Like a, there's a second semester and then a third semester about different characters. Um, so I'm very happy I picked this one up. I was laughing. They, they were hilarious. And I liked how it all resolved in the end. And they got there very nice happily ever after. Then we have Wrong by Adelaide Force. Now, this one is dark. This one has trigger warnings. If you are not a fan of um, dubious consent, non-consent, or like forced pregnancy, don't read this one and you can skip this part of my video. But don't read this book and say I did not warn y'all that it's dark and it's not for everybody. It, the name of it is wrong, but it was right for me. Like I really enjoyed it. And so this one is about Everly and her uncle Landon. Um, he's basically like the best friend to her dad. And um, Landon is into like the kinky things. And he, as like Everly has gotten a little older because I think she's starting college, he kind of has like started to have this attraction to her and she's always been attracted to her uncle Landon but she's just like he's obviously like older than me and so to kind of get her out of his system Landon signs up for a little bit of um kinky kinky where it's basically like they enter into this contract where it's like they pretend to be kidnapped and um taken home and you know, one thing leads to another. It's a whole setup. And so, but like it's a whole scenario. It is consensual. They signed the contract before this. So it just so happens that the girl who um, Landon signed up to do this scenario with was supposed to be like a redhead. Someone very similar in statute and looks 
to Everly because he was basically trying to get Everly out of his system by sleeping with a lookalike. And he is supposed to meet her at a cafe and she's supposed to be in a particular seat. So it just so happens he pulls up to the cafe and Everly is in the seat at the cafe where they are supposed to be rendezvousing. Does he ask any questions? No, because he's like, okay, well, she signed up for this. And because it's supposed to be like a pretend kidnapping, the fact that she's resisting it just like turns him on more because in his head, that's what she signed up for. And she's like, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. And he's not listening to her because he's just like, okay, well, you're really playing into the scenario. <laughs> so, um... They, 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 uh, one thing leads to another, um, and the true story unfolds as to, um, her being, like, the wrong person, but it, like, didn't matter because she wanted him anyways, and he wanted her, and, uh, like I said, it's, it is not gonna be for everybody, I am not even gonna say that, but it worked for me, the writing was good, it was unique, um, and it, it, it definitely explores those lines between like, you know, consent, dubious not consent, and just different kinks people have that work for them. And it worked for these two. And the last novella I want to talk about is Meant to Be by Jenica Snow. Um, this one is like super short. Like I think it used to be a part of an anthology, but it's about Leah and Jameson. They are best friends. Um, and I think they've low-key always been attracted to each other, but never wanted to say anything. And they are both virgins. And Jameson is about to fly off the next day to like some kind of like doctors with borders type thing. And so they're just like hanging out at their house, um, drinking one thing leads to another. And they end up sleeping together and losing their virginity to each other. And she ends up pregnant <laughs> and has no way to tell him because he's at doctors with borders for um, a year. So you can imagine what happens when he uh, comes back after that year and uh, what he will find on her doorstep. She'll have an extra house guest <laughs> living with her that he had no clue about because there was no communication while he was gone. So it's super short. That's literally the plot. Um, But still read it. I, I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I, these are all like my... Um, so these are all my novella suggestions. Like I said, if you're ever in the mood for something where you just want to kick back and read it, um, pick these up. I think all of these are on Kindle Unlimited if you subscribe to that service through Amazon. Yeah, they're all on Kindle Unlimited. I just had to check. But yes, if you've read any of these novellas, let me know down below. Um, if not, let me know what your favorite novella is. I'm always looking for more. To me, they're like candy. I like to pick them up in between my heavy reads and just kind of like knock them out. It helps me kind of like get through reading slumps when I'm moving along in the month. I just read something heavy. I kind of just want something light to take off the load. So definitely let me know down below um, your favorite novellas. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.